the quickest and best ways to make money fast in ERLC Emergency Response Liberty Council. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here on Roblox Funland. In today's video, we'll be taking you through on how to make money on Emergency Response Liberty Council or ERLC. Now, ERLC or Emergency Response Liberty Council is a great Roblox game and it's quite similar to other popular games. Can you guess which game it is? Well, it's none other than GTA. That's right. While the two games are quite different, there are some aspects of the two games that are quite similar. One of them is robbing and making money. Now, we don't want to encourage people to steal or robbing, but if you do play the game, you'll find it quite entertaining and action-packed to rob a few houses, shops, and banks in the game. Yes, this game has it all, and if you haven't played the game yet, you definitely need to go and try it. There are quite a few ways to make money in the game and we're going to explore the best ways. Stay tuned and watch the video right to the end to learn more about some great money making tips on ERLC. Before we begin the video though, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Also, turn on the bell for the latest notifications. Make sure you never miss another video. With that said, let's begin. Let's first take a look at the fastest ways to make money in the game as a civilian. Playing the game. To make money in ERLC, you obviously need to play the game. You can earn around $1,000 every 10 minutes you play this game. That's quite a lot if you know where to go and what to do. There are several points in the game that can make you more money than others. Robbing ATMs. The next way to earn money in the game is to obviously rob, and you have various options when it comes to robbing. Robbing ATMs is one of them, and this can give you $2,000 to $5,000 each time you rob one. That's definitely a lot. Rob the jewelry store. The third way to earn money is by robbing the jewelry store. This, like the ATM, can be robbed multiple times at once and you can earn a maximum of $1,000 each time you rob it. Robbing houses. The final way to earn money through robbing is through robbing houses, which we don't normally recommend you do unless you're very good at it because it can be quite hard and it costs a lot of money to buy a picking tool every time. It also takes a lot of time because you have to keep driving to the tool store to buy a lockpick. We don't really recommend you do this, but you can make around $5,000 by robbing houses. Now that we know some ways to get some money, let's take a look at some other tips to help you get money. Servers. The first tip is on the game page. Click on the servers page and you now want to scroll to the bottom of the page where you can see two people on the server. You need to enter that server and when you spawn into the server, you'll need to get into your fastest car. So spawn into your car and now start driving to the tool shop near the sheriff's office. Robbing a house. Once you're inside the tool shop, you need to buy every single thing they have, the rift disruptor, the lockpick, and the drill. Once you have that, get back into your car and drive past the sheriff's office and turn right down the dirt path. You will see a few houses, jump out of your car and take your lockpick and try robbing the house. Note, if you fail at robbing the house, don't go and buy a new lockpick, just follow other steps. Once you succeed in hacking your way in, you just walk over to the pieces of money lying around and press E. You can see your money increase as you steal. Once you've explored new areas of the house and you've gotten your money, just leave. Once outside, drive away quickly and head over to the civilian spawn. Once you see the civilian spawn, just park your car down in an alleyway on the left side and there is an ATM over there. Park your car close to the ATM in a hidden spot. Robbing the ATM. To rob the ATM, get your RFID disruptor and click on insert to get working. To unlock the ATM, just find the number sequence they want. Continue doing this until you hear a beep and you'll see that your money has increased. Now, you might not get it right on the first try and it takes a lot of patience to hack the system, but you'll eventually become a pro. If you do succeed, you can get around $4,000. Robbing the jewelry store. To rob the jewelry store, park your car behind it. For this, you need to take the small path near the hospital and you'll land behind the store. Just jump on top of your car and climb to the roof of the store. Once on top, get to the edge of the roof and look to see if anyone is robbing the store. If they are, just stay on top and wait to see if the police are coming. If they do come, you can rob the store when the police are not around. Just enter the jewelry store through the window, get out your drill, and you'll see a green bar pop up which slowly turns red. You also have a small black marker that you need to keep in the center as you progress. The more time you keep the marker on the green patch, the more money you make. You can normally make around $1,000, sometimes more. There are other cases of robbery in the same store. Another thing to note is that you can use the same drill four times in one sitting. You don't have to go to the store to purchase another drill. 
After you're done, just exit the store, head over to the ATM and jump on top of it. Jump on the roof of the building and jump down on the roof of your car on the other side. It's as simple as that. The jewelry store is the easiest to rob and you can also make a decent sum up to $4,000 in one attempt. You can also keep repeating these robberies to keep earning more money in the game. You can make a decent sum of money using these tricks repeatedly. Use these tricks and you'll surely get the hang of making more money in the game. With that, we wrap up our video. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Do let us know any ways of making money in the game that you may have in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.